Minority leader is having interest in this, and I'm seeing him carrying his hand. Please allow me to finish. Let, let, him, let him read his request. Then. Honorable Speaker, person to standing order 442C, I seek to request for a statement from the chairperson of the Departmental Committee on Administration and National Security regarding border conflicts in Otati area along Migori County and Homa Bay County along the borders of Nyatike and Uriri constituencies within Migori County. Honorable Speaker, there have been persistent fights and conflicts between the residents living in Otati area and along the borders of Migori and Homa Bay counties. The latest conflicts was on Friday 8th January 2021 and tensions has continued to date <laughs> which has greatly affected the market days in Otati area and has led to loss of livelihoods. Further, there have been conflicts in the recent past around the border of Uriri and Yateke constituencies at Pimlich area. Honorable Speaker, it is against this backdrop that I seek a statement from the chairperson of the Departmental Committee on Administration and National Security on the following. What are the causes of increased inter-county border conflicts in Otati area along Bigori and Oba Bay counties? What measures has the ministry undertaken to clear, demarcate the Migori County boundaries at Otati sub location? Could the ministry consider having a police post at Thimlich area? And what plans the ministry has put in place for long term and sub, uh, sustainable peace in this area? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, uh, allow me to clarify one thing. Honor <laughs> Honorable, Honorable Mbadi is a beneficiary of uh, Nyatike land, and that's why he's very, he's very serious. <laughs> thank, thank you, Honorable Speaker. He's a land grabber. <laughs>
that now that there is a problem between Suba people and Karungu people. What problem do we have? That is where I buy even chicken to eat. That's where I buy mboga to eat. That's why I, where I buy everything. In fact, that is the closest market from my home. Then he comes several kilometers away to come and cause disharmony between two groups of people who have been living without any problem. Mr. Speaker, if he's looking for votes, he should not use Otati to look for votes, Mr. Speaker. He has been my friend, but now he is stepping on live wire. He is completely stepping on live wire, Mr. Speaker. That is something that I cannot accept. You cannot even take an inch, not an inch, from Suba. It will not work, Mr. Speaker. He should know that, Mr. Speaker. Now, 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 now this one, this one, this one, now, the other one, is the other one also live? Let me, let me hear another live wire. Honorable Junet. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I don't want to contradict my party chairman and my leader. But Mr. Speaker, one thing I agree with the party chair is that in his constituency, at his home, I visited him many times to pay homage, Mr. Speaker. The shopping center where he buys things from, because there are no shopping center in his place, is in your ticket, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. <laughs> is it your ticket, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker. Many times, many, many, many times, Mr. Speaker, many times I have visited Mr. Speaker. I have waited for lunch. Just a, I have waited for lunch, Mr. Speaker, for four hours. When I asked him the question, he told me, the food is coming from Karungu, just wait. It is still on a bicycle, it is arriving. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, there are no shopping centers there. Mr. Speaker, this issue the MP for Nyatika has raised, Mr. Speaker, is very important. And do, with due respect, it's a matter that the committee must look into, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there are people in Otati where he's talking about who are being served in Nyatika constituency, Mr. Speaker, by getting Basai. Mr. Speaker, the MP is giving them bursary there. Mr. Speaker, I'm aware of that. He has shared with me. Mr. Speaker, my party chairman is becoming uh, the famous Jackson Angaine. He is trying to push the boundary every day inside. I have with you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this is a matter that the committee must look into. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker Migori County, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of Bigori County, Mr. Speaker, our land has been grabbed by Home Bay County, Mr. Speaker, and we want none other than GSU to be deployed there, Mr. Speaker, to help us. With it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mem member, member for Migori County. Now it looks like. Uh... <laughs> thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And um, we see, uh, you see, the, 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 for... the, the more we hear those voices the more I'm getting convinced that there is need for thank you. The, the committee to get to bring a, a response. Thank you, thank let's you, Mr. Speaker. The number for Migori. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. And, sir, I plead in advance that you'll protect me from my chairman here because the way he's looking at me is uh, <laughs> suspicious and dangerous. I just wanted to support my <laughs> MP there uh, this is the man who takes care of the constituency where my forefathers are buried. And uh, why I think there is a need to investigate this boundary and to make records straight, I am the county MP of Migori County. And I have received delegations from Otati coming even to my home to look for help. So if the MP of Suba is alleging that uh, Otati is in his constituency, then he needs to explain further to this house why he's not taking care of his people. And I know that Otati is in Karungu, which is part of Nyatike, and these disputes, which about the Soko, it is actually the big area we are talking about is in, is in Migori County, and market is part of Migori County, and I think, uh, Mr. Speaker, the, 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 what the MP has raised here is valid and we need that co, uh, co, uh, committee to do proper investigation so that we can settle this matter once and for all. Because we cannot spend Migori resources in the people, on the people of Otati and yet they claim to be from Soba. 
I think that is not right. And uh, the, Mr. Speaker, with that, I, 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 I want, I want uh, uh, my, my chairman here to understand that uh, the fact that uh, they have been pushing yes. into our land does not mean that it really belongs to them. So, Mr. Speaker, I support. Member for Suba North. This is another live wire, is it? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I will not be a live wire today. It is hot. <laughs> or I'm going to be a live wire on another level. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I'm speaking uh, conscious of the fact that the member who has raised this issue is our in-law, who was married in my village in Kolo Kanyala, in Rusinga Island. Yes, Mr. Speaker. And also very conscious that Honorable John Mbadi is the chairman of uh, our party and also a super like myself. And having said so, Mr. Speaker, you can hear voices coming from Migori. That one we will not talk about. We are just tell you we are subas. If you want to know whether they are loose or not, go and read your history. That's not for me to say. All I can tell you is I am suba. My father is suba, my mother is Lua. And I represent both. Mr. Speaker, what I want to say, Mr. Speaker, is that if you actually see the way people are speaking very passionately, Honorable Junette, who is also a leader in our party, Honorable Pamela, um, and the, 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 the member who has spoken, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Dege, they are all from Migori County. Mr. Speaker, this can very quickly and easily degenerate to a war between Homer Bay and Migori County, because then I can decide to defend Homer Bay County, and my chairman has, uh, uh, on the issue of attack on Migori County. Mr. Speaker, speaking from experience, we had a similar situation with my brother, Honorable Bombardi, in the first uh, parliament, where I am the one who was considered the aggressor, and he knows why it was not Mbadi who raised it, I'm the one who raised it. And I want to say, in insight, Mr. Speaker, these are very emotive issues that we should not be playing with in the, on the floor of the House. As members, we can make it a joke and laugh here, but the people who are listening on the ground do not take these issues lightly. Before you know it, this will start into a war before, between Atike and Suba South, and very soon it will be a war between Migori and Homa Bay County. And we cannot have such things. And I want to call the leaders who are speaking to order as a member of ODM party, that if they are not able to deal with the leadership, leave it for people like me to deal with. These are issues that you should be dealing with in the house as ODM. You do not come to come and clean your dirty linen before the public. You are trying to show people. We know that Baba has been sick, but he's still in charge. So don't come and show people here that you can misuse and behave on behalf of ODM in front of people here. Go and sort out those issues in the house. Don't embarrass the ODM in the floor of the house. Those are not issues you bring before the floor of the house. When you've gone to the party and you are not able to deal with them, bring them before the house. But you cannot bring issues that we can deal with outside the house and embarrass the party here. Shame on you. Now, now you, you see, you see. Now, the member for Uriri, I can see you want to say something. The Honorable Nyamita, Mark Nyamita. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I only rise because uh, in the statement by the Honorable Member from Nyatike, he did mention that there's been a bit of a conflict between the border of Uriri and Nyatike. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I actually want to confirm there's been, uh, in one of the areas that we share around the Gogo Falls, there has been a consistent issue between a number of families there on a piece of land that is in dispute. Mr. Speaker, about a year ago, uh, we have had to deploy police there who were there for about a week to try and keep peace between, uh, at, at the border point. And I think that thing subsided for a, a bit of uh, some time. So indeed, between Uriri and Nyatike, there has been an issue. However, Mr. Speaker, whereas I welcome the committee to 
try and investigate the issues that are there. I also want to challenge our neighbors, including my neighbor from Nyatike, that sometimes even us as leaders, and I want to ask him that uh, the Honorable Tom Modege and myself, especially on the border between myself and Nyatike, that we do find time and have a public meeting there to be able to address the issues that are there. Because when I, when I go on my own or he does go on his own, then those issues are not able to be sorted. And I actually am confident that between ourselves, we can actually see it. The same Mr. Speaker would apply between the border of Nyatike and Suba South, where our party leader is actually coming from. Whereas I know there is no major center in the chairman's uh, constituency, and indeed he uses Migori going into his home area, I am very confident, Mr. Speaker, that if we find time as a leadership from the area to sit together at the, at the place of dispute, it's a small matter that can actually be, uh, be addressed. And I want to support what Ronda Bomili is talking about. But Mr. Mr. Speaker, issues of boundary are very emotive. We can joke around them here on the floor of the House, but the people who will be watching or are listening to us speak, we might actually wake up to something different tomorrow. That, be, uh, that the people of Migori are actually indeed fighting with the people of uh, Homer Bay. So I actually just want to implore on my colleagues that we do find time, even as we welcome the committee to come and do the investigations on ground, that even as leadership from the area, if we all sit, there are issues that we can actually resolve amicably. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I want to say that uh, uh, I want to urge my colleague, Honorable Tom Odege, that uh, I'm sure somebody will be able to sort, besides their relatives, as they say. And I just want to tell Mr. Tom Odege that uh, many people have lost their nomination certificates. Please don't lose it for, for addressing the party leader, <laughs> for, the, for addressing the party chairman wrongly on the floor. Be very careful, we are. <laughs> now, 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 Thank you. Now, honorable members, because it looks like uh, you, are, you have now taken it as a debate, no, there's, there's no, there's, there's. no, you see, all of those who are raising hands up, you want to tell me about, I don't know which, who has a boundary where, who has a market in which village, who has a church, who has a primary school. Now, is that, and that, there's only a, it was only a request for a statement. No, 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 you can't, that cannot be, that cannot replace the business of the day, usually. So, let, Honorable Fatuma, Fatuma, how long do you think it will take you to give us a report on this? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I the Honorable will... Bandi has not threatened anybody. <laughs> it's okay. Mr. Speaker, um, I want to assure the House that um, the committee will bring uh, or respond to the statement within two weeks, since it's also the right of the Honorable Member yeah. to, to have a response to his statement. And I want to assure the members, and more so the legislators from Migori and Homer Bay, that will do justice to this. Thank you. Yeah, and, and please, don't, don't, don't feel threatened. No, no let, let's, let, let's, let, let's, let's, now, let's now do national business. Uh, Honorable Shungwa, you are... Uh, you are